A new man passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. Hi, friends. It is <laughs> super early in the morning. I'm not whispering because I just checked on Ashley and Chelsea and they're awake. I think Chelsea actually just went and took care of the chickens. So that's a good kid. But let me get you to the car and I will tell you where we're going. Water. So Jason's in his car. <laughs> I'm in my car. And Abby is in her car. Did you warm up my car for me? You probably did. So we're all driving separate. Because <laughs> we all have separate places to go after we're done. All right, so Abby has probably already left for school. She, actually it's late start for her today, but we have an award ceremony to go to for her. She's getting what they call a pillar award. And pillar awards are issued by teachers for the students for special reasons. And we don't know what teachers have issued that for Abby. Maybe all of them have, I don't know. Um, she only has three, <laughs> so. And I wouldn't put it past all three of them for issuing her awards, if I'm gonna be honest with you. She's a great kiddo. So, we're gonna, this is, like I said, this is, this is a, a little shot at being able to like, you know, honor Abby without her technically having to be on one garage set. I will get her from a distance walking across to get her award, hopefully. Um, so, let's head out. And uh, I might be done by the time Ashley even gets on the bus, but they are both awake and they're gonna go and walk Daisy in a half hour. So, we're in check. The fact that my watch has to ask this. <laughs> yes, I have to start my day. Thank you very much, I have to. Look at us parking our cars next to each other. Oh, so sweet. I think that's him. It is him. <laughs> I mean, Look at that view. Uh, there's my car. I don't think these kids understand how amazing their view is from their school. And it's a moody morning. That's okay. Jason's making fun of me for wearing flip flops and sweatshirts. <laughs> Very Northwest. Very Northwestern. I'm not wearing socks with them though. I refuse to do that. So let's go see. She only has three teachers. So she can only technically get three awards, but Maybe she gets one from all three teachers. Right? I guess. I don't know how this works. Yeah, they're from teachers. So. Well, I think we're on time. Well, that looks too late. <laughs> Well, they found a much faster way of <laughs> presenting those awards this year. I think we've done that with that ceremony with Kaylee maybe once or twice. I don't remember. We just know that in the past it's taken over an hour and we were like all said and done in 24 minutes. <laughs> so, so it was categories that they're being recognized for. So being honest, empathetic, respectful, and engaged spelling here. I don't know. Anyway, and so uh, you could get nominated for all four categories. One girl got nominated for three of the categories. 
Um, Abby said she was in her yearbook class. Um, but I just have to give a special little, I know I showed it to you, but I just wanted to read out loud the comment from Abby's teacher that um, nominated her for the Engaged Award, just because it's definitely like more personal for Abby specifically, not just like a generic, oh, Abby was so engaged in class, you know what I mean? Um, so it says, Abby has stepped into her leadership role as assistant editor and athletic um, athletics editor between trips and surgery. She still stays ahead of her deadlines and always supports her partners on pages and gets her editing done. She is well prepared to be editor in chief next year. So she was assistant editor this year and she is going to be editor in chief next year. So I, Abby said she already told me that and I assumed that that was going to be the case for her senior year. Um, and her teacher has like told us that, um, I think she told us that at the beginning of this year, she's like, just plan on her being <laughs> editor in chief next year. Um, just because she's like, I think she could have technically done it this year, but I think it's maybe like a senior position type of thing, just like an honorary senior position. But I'm proud of that kiddo. Um, and she's like, well, why would I have gotten the award for it from the other teachers? And I'm like, oh, you're right. Like, ceramics <laughs> is the other class she has and chemistry but also because I don't get to like tout Abby very often at all actually um she got a 32 out of 32 on her chem test so chemistry is not in our family genes except for my dad <laughs> maybe my sisters who are nurses chemistry is not easy and she got a freaking 100 percent on her last test I don't think it's the final but Maybe it was. No, I don't think so. Finals are coming up here. So kudos to Abby. I just wanted to give her um, a, a little shout out personally because it's been a hard year. And my mama heart. Love you, kiddo. See you in a little bit. Somehow I ended up at Target. It just happens. Okay, have a good day, kiddo. You too. Love you. Bye. -bye. Bye. Well, I'll probably be home. I'll probably be home before you leave. Yeah. Maybe walk Daisy. She was Ashley said she was really tired when she took her out back. Maybe walk her one more time before you go. Try and walk her. Yeah. Okay. We did let her out into the backyard. She did run around a bunch. Okay, good. Alrighty. Okay. I'll I'll hurry here. I'll be home in an hour. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, kiddo. I mean, I don't know how I ended up at Target. No, but I need two very random things. I need um, ham, which isn't so random, but lotion. So the combination of the two. <laughs> but I also had it in my head that Chelsea needed something. So I called her and just checked on her. And uh, she wants some of those applesauce pouches. She's like, I just... It's just easier to eat soft foods <laughs> with their braces. She's now eating like normal food, um, but it is just easier. So she's like, and they taste really good. And it's like a new thing for her to be able to just put in her bag and take to school. So I will get some here because I'm, I'm not going back. To, I'm not going to Costco. I'm not. I need to tell myself not to go to Costco. And I can't tell Jason that we need anything at Costco or else he's going to want to go again on Friday. So, we're going to go to Target, but maybe I'll let Target speak to me. No, I'm just kidding. I can't get anything else. Maybe I'll, if we need anything else, I'll get it. But I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to roam Target. Maybe a little bit. Well, I got more than lotion and ham. Lotion, the applesauce packets. I'm obviously hungry. <laughs> but I'm trying to decide on, like... Um, Memorial Day items to take so maybe like a, a chicken Caesar salad or something but I also have a Sunday birthday dinner for Jason's dad so I got some hot dogs to put on the grill and I got Chelsea her favorite sausage to make at night so she can have sausage and like some corn dot or uh, what are these called little tater tots um, but these uh, hot dogs that I like to have on the grill and then I got regular hot dogs there um and then ham and then i also got sodas for 
the holiday, Memorial Day, and this barbecue that we're having for Jason's dad. We just kind of planned that the other day. Jason's dad's birthday is today. He is 80 years old. And so we're all gonna go out, of, out to, it's called Roslyn, um, just up the path, and go and celebrate his birthday. I don't know if he knows about it. So I, and I should just make sure I wish him a birthday today. Um, and not ruin the surprise for him. Okay, not any new nails <laughs> this time, but I did get my, oh, can you focus? I did get my toes done. I was able to go with my friend and we just sat and talked. It was really, really nice. Um, got our toes done first and then um, got our nails done. So that was really fun. And then we're having a game, not a game night, like a girls craft night tonight. Whatever excuse you can find to get together. Because <laughs> um, we used to have a craft group, so we still kind of do it. But we realized that one of the girls coming is graduating from high school, one of our friend's daughters. And she's graduated from high school here in a few weeks. And so we did a little gift basket for her. Um, this is actually one of the items that is in her gift basket, um, along with a pack of pens and a candle and some snacks, and then in a basket. Um, but I just couldn't resist. I, I've never seen one like that. I don't even know how many unused notebooks I have anymore, but I couldn't resist that. So we went shopping together. And then I realized I probably didn't have very much time so I was just gonna go sit at Ashley's school to pick her up and I, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I instinctively came home and I was like, oh, fine. But then I, once I came home, I realized I needed to walk Daisy and I needed to grab something to eat because I realized I was hungry. So I have made a healthy choice. I have leftover lasagna. Can you see it right there? I've warmed up my lasagna and I'm not gonna eat it here. I'm actually gonna click it shut. I just warmed it up. I gotta click it shut. I don't want this getting all over my car. It's super hot though. So I am going to get down to Ashley's school early. It just got out of school, like the bus just drove by for the kids who did come home. And so I don't want to get in, I didn't want to get into that mess like at the school. So I wanted to wait just long enough for everyone to leave the school and traffic to be gone before I go back down there. But I'm a little early to pick her up, so I decided I would just eat my lunch in the car and get her, and she has not decided if she, I'm not gonna let her decide to come home before she goes to cheer. I am going to have her just, I don't know what, I don't know what. We'll figure something to do for an hour before she goes to cheer. I really hope she has good tennis shoes on. She doesn't have her cheer shoes. Crap. Okay, I gotta go get, there's no way she put her cheer shoes. <sighs> Let me call Kaylee, hang on. Call Kaylee Brown. Yeah? Can you grab Ashley's white cheer shoes and bring them out to the garage? Yeah. Thank you. Just ate my lasagna. One, I'm very full, which is great so that I don't snack on anything. Maybe, I, maybe I'll have a snack in a bit because I still have an hour until Ashley, hour and a half until Ashley has practice. I still have 10, 15 minutes till she's done with this. Anyway, but I'm glad that I brought that lasagna with me. I am in line. There's other parents that are here doing the exact same thing, being here early. <laughs> Um, anyway, I just forgot to show you a few things that my friend got me. She went to Taiwan, like just a few weeks after we were in that airport. And she actually experienced two earthquakes while she was there. Um, but she brought me back these cute little treats. She said this is like a little cookie, maybe? It's a pineapple cake. So two little treats. And then she brought this cute little pineapple like recycle bag, like in a little carry-all bag. I need to like take a picture of how it's supposed to go back together. 
<laughs> so that I don't just shove it back in there next time. But it's super cute. So I'm going to keep that here in my car and try and remember to take my bags in. But so I'm just sitting here listening to a podcast and waiting to pick up Ashley. And when I get home, I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm going to do for my craft at craft night tonight. I got a binder and I just need to find some... Oh, my arm. Sorry, my elbow is super tight and painful right now. Oh, okay. Um, but I got a binder and I need to find like some page protectors, different sizes and that kind of thing. I think I have some in the closet. Um, but I'm going to show you when I get home what I'm going to do um, with that. So stay tuned. I'll do it in this video. Um, Hopefully I'll, I'll finish it tonight and I'll be able to show it to you after I get back from my, my little game night. Um, so, uh, one thing I can do with Ashley, I realized I tried to find a snack when we were at home goods to take to the girls night tonight. And I just like me, and my friend, we weren't really finding, she found one thing she's going to bring to the party. It's at her house. <laughs> so, um, but I maybe will go and look for another snack to take for that while we wait for to take Ashley um, to cheer. So that is something we can go and do that is useful. This guy is coming in the wrong way. He's coming in the out. Nope. Not okay, dude. That's a dad. That's a dad move right there. A truck coming in the out and cutting in the front of the line. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's no blow. No go. I'm so tired. Meandering home. It's four o'clock. Just dropped Ashley off at cheer. We had to sit and wait for about 40 minutes, 30 minutes. And then one of the junior coaches let them in a few minutes early. Her, her and a couple teammates. <laughs> um, so that I could, that I, you can go home, which was very nice. Um, I'm kidding. I just realized I've been awake since 6 a.m. I got up at 6.30. So I'm getting pretty tired here. But I only have two hours before I have to leave again. Let's see, open my garage. Um, I need to edit. I don't want to fall asleep because I don't want to be groggy. <sighs> Close, open. I don't want to be groggy going to my friend's house. I got these cute little, we went to the dollar store. Ashley and I went to the dollar store. I actually got her some, they had one of the Starbucks pineapple drinks at the dollar store, which even at Target, they're $3 a piece um, versus like $7 at Starbucks. Um, but they had them for $1.25. So she got one of those as her drink slash snack. And I got her a bag of cereal because <laughs> I told her to pack herself some snacks and her shoes and her socks and anything she needed for cheer. I told her to do that this morning and she didn't. And so she was left with a veggie pouch and a granola bar in her backpack. So um, went to the dollar store and because I didn't find anything at home goods for my friend's game night or whatever night tonight that I'm going to. I just got some flips and some bugles. They're all going to bring healthy stuff. I got myself some gum. That just goes in the car. But I'm going to see what I can gather around the house. But look, I got these cute little bowls at the dollar store with lids. That way I can take snacks to my game nights and cute little bowls this summer. So, um, I gotta go to the bathroom. Ah. Got my cute little tins of snacks. I probably could have used a third bag to make that one look more full. But the bugles, that's like one and a half bags because certain someone and I, me, me, had those ones while we waited for Ashley. Um, but anyway, so those ones are in there. And then I'm gonna see if there's anything else in my kitchen. All right, and then here in my office, I have this cute, cute, um, binder that I just got on Amazon and I thought it would be kind of cute. I've got some page protectors. Um, I only have like full sheet page protectors. I don't have like photo ones, but 
I thought it would be kind of cute to display all of your cards and to kind of protect them as well. So tonight at my little activity, I'm going to go through and display a lot of these cards. Um, I also have some over here that I've just gotten from people in general, but also from you guys. I don't know, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll take this with me. Can I get this out? Will it even come out? I don't think it'll come out. Let's see, like they just get piled in here. So, we'll kind of see what ones I need to keep or not. That one's not in there because it doesn't fit. All right, so now I've got a little collection. And, oops, we're gonna take that guy, we're gonna take these, and that. And we're gonna go see what I can do with those. All right, I am going to end my night with you guys. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna show you what I made at, um, well, I just kind of put it all together. Um, but I wanna show you guys because it's all from you guys, so that's why I wanna show you. Um, and then I'm gonna end my night. But I had a great time with my girlfriends. Laughed until we almost peed our pants. Um, anyway, just wonderful friends and they were all working on little craft projects and one of the daughters, um, like I said before, is graduating and so we made a really cute gift basket for her and then one of the items was that notebook and so I brought some pens and we all wrote a little note to her as she heads out into the world and um, we all just kind of passed the notebook around and, and ate our food and they had pizza and we had lots of snacks and I took our little Bavarian cake that I had made, the little Boston cream cake I should say um, and everyone loved that and uh, we had a great time. So I'm gonna get home really quick and I'll show you the little binder that I made with all of your cards in it and it turned out really cute and the nice thing is I can add to it. So um, let me get home really quick and I will show you. All right, here's my cute little notebook and I'm glad I got that size because it's quite full and this is the folder that they were all in. You guys are gonna recognize you your cards. Something? Huh? Were you trading stuff? Like well, she just, you'd have to see what she did. I, my friend gave this to Ashley to do. And it's like this whole kit. It's a little LED lights. It has actual LED, mini LED Does it? Lights. it has mini That's LED cute. Lights. So you can work on that after your desk is cleaned because that has too many parts. That That's all you're going to do if you're going to do that. That won't be happening until another month. Okay. So here is my cute little notebook. I tried to like display each card as best I could. This one I couldn't open. Um, I just wanted to like um, do that. And then here's another 3D one. Obviously I can't display the 3Ds all the way, but that's kind of cute. And then I, got one. I, I know, remember the like patch. this one. I know the patch. I want to do something with it. I got that at school. So um, some of the cards I left open and others I didn't. Um, but they're so cute. These ones I taped in here so that I can see both the front and the back if there was any extra notes like who it's from. Um, and then I had all three of these cards like this. Um, get well cards for me. Get well cards for Abby. Um, just you guys. It's so cute. Um, there's like a billion of these. Um, uh, little cards that were sent to Abby and she, as she was recovering. There's a whole stack of them. There's probably 10 of them. You know who sent that. Um, again, like I tried to like display who sent these cards so that I can see them. Um, but you know who you are. That's from Patty, I think. Yeah. Um, try to like, anyway, just super cute. This is probably one of my first followers that started sending me stuff because she had her own little boutique in Arizona. And oh, yeah. so she started sending me stuff from it. And I thought that was so sweet of her. Um, but just kind of going through. This is so fun. And now I can just get some more. I used every single, look, there's Marlene. Um, I have every single um, thing used up except for two. So now I need to go get some more of these, uh, three. Um, so that I, if I get more cards from you or... I should probably do one. I should do a Christmas one. That way that I can like... take up a whole binder. No, but I would do like a different um, kind of sleeve. I would do one that had 5 by 7s Because usually the Christmas cards are 5 by 7 So it actually have a whole sleeve just for one card. 
kind of a thing. I might do a Christmas one. So if you send me Christmas cards, it'll be in its own little binder. I just think that'll be fun. You're tired, so am I. Well, I wish I could have shown you, but Abby just came down here and went through this twice because she remembers like every card that she got. She literally like, right? She went through this whole thing twice. She's, She's looking. The... No, she went through the whole thing twice. Yes, she did. <laughs> she was like, what did she say? She's like, I was like, they couldn't, because my friends tonight were like, um, wait, that many people sent, sorry. That many people sent her cards? Like, is that friends from here? I said, no, <laughs> that's friends from my channel that have never met Abby. And they all sent cards to her. And they were like, really? And I was like, yeah, we couldn't keep up with like opening them. I had to open a lot of them because she wasn't capable of doing it. And Abby was like, she's like, yeah, it was really overwhelming. I had a lot going on then. It was really overwhelming to open them. So maybe I should read these again because I don't know if I remember. <laughs> like. I don't remember if I remember it all. And actually, I kind of wonder if I have some more. I don't think I tucked any more away. I do have this little froggy on display. You know who sent that little froggy. I think that one's Michelle. So thank you. Um, but I do have more of those little 3D cards and other cards on display up here. And like that one there. There's more tucked in there. But um, anyway, so thank you for this cute little notebook and I'm actually, you're gonna see where I'm gonna store it. We're gonna put it right front and center, right here. Oh, you can't even see, that was dumb. Front and center, super cute. If I had found like a hibiscus flower binder, I would've put it into that, but maybe that will be volume two. I will search for one like that. And I think I'm gonna look for a Christmas one because I think that would be cute to store all your old Christmas cards in and then every year we add the new ones and we can put that little folder out there on the counter or something um, in the basket um, each Christmas season. So I am going to go to bed. I'm very tired. It's been a long day, so I will see you guys next time. I have another full day tomorrow. I'm trying to think if there's anything interesting, I will bring you along for the ride. I think three of my four kids have pediatrician appointments. Not sure why Kaylee is going to the pediatrician because she's 19, but they made the appointment for her. And I can't even find out what it's about until she's done because I'm not allowed in. So I don't know. We'll see what I get up to tomorrow or the next time I see you. Take care, guys.